Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? I don't know, this isn't good. No. Where am I supposed to go? Follow the little wispy thing. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Like, look at her footprints, too. That's oh, so cool. Like, if you move faster? I don't know. That's just really cool. Okay, so let's find the next entrance exit. Like, I don't know what you would call this. Well, like, they're technically like wells, right? Like, wells oh, of magic. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. But I don't know. I don't know if they're like. Um. Technically, exits or entrances. It probably doesn't matter. Alright. Lumos. Let's see. How many statues are there? Oh, right. I gotta do the Revelio first. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah, we are, girl. It we seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Girl, you got this! Potato, stupefy. Look at how good you are at magic already. I really shouldn't be dodging because this is a blocking, shielding stupefy. tutorial, but I'm like a chronic dodger. I love dodging and I don't know why. Okay. Here we go. Wait, no, I did it too early. Stupefy. Yeah, she got the stupefy in there. So cool. There. Woo. Oh no, there's somebody right behind you, Ashley. Stranger danger. No, who are you hitting this time? Girl, don't look away. Thank you. This, now you. <gasps> oh, I didn't even know he was there. Oh gosh. Okay, that guy's gone now. Probably should have done the stupid five. No, I got hit. Okay, are you the last one? Maybe? I think so. Phew! Right? That's gotta be it. Lumos. Okay. Which way am I going? There we go. I th is it? If you cast Revelio, does it. <gasps> what? Oh. Hey, Adley, what's in here? 51. We're so Revelio. rich. Okay, not Lumos. that rich still but every penny counts when you're a student because you're gonna want snacks snacks are expensive i don't know why i never like full sprint like i normally just let her like do this i don't know why all right that thing is so cool by the way the design look at these Please tell me I get to walk. Yeah, I do get to walk through. Is it safe to walk through the creepy door? Maybe. Revelia. Did I miss anything before we go? No. Okay. Like, I love this kind of stuff. It's so cool in here. All right. Ah, there's a chest over there. See, like I said, oh, there are two. I don't, I think I might've gotten those the last time. This, though, this might be one of the only, um, if you don't loot first, you don't get to loot later. Areas. That's it. I know I said, like, 99% of the time, or 95% of the time. So this is part of that. Not part of the majority cutscene-ish times, so get your loot now. Uh, I think we're good. Are you ready? Are you ready, girl? Hi. How did you? Magic, literally. What is this place? I don't, uh, know. I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Mm hmm.
Follow my lead. All is in place. The Porky is well hidden? Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created... ...may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I appreciate that they made this into an aesthetic. Like, you know what this, like, this room's sole purpose is to, like, find this pensive and everything, but they still made it really pretty and... That's what you're seeing. Respect. The glow. That surrounded them. Yup. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces yep. of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will- It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Yup. It's fine. Who were they? We'll be fine. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. Yeah, kind of. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have... You gotta give that goblin credit, though. I have no patience for traitors. He stood up for what he believed now, in. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here. Get will be bent, wild. Ranrock. Not helping you. Okay, we made it. I think. Are you all right? Yeah, are you? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Because he was. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. 
It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Okay. Are you ready for this? This, I don't know why. Like, I got goosebumps the first time I saw this uh, opening. It's so good. We're here. We're literally going to Hogwarts. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Just a little bit. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of you course, got it. Sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? No. Not at all. Are we supposed to be? <laughs> Is anybody ever ready for something like this? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. You don't sound confident. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins, I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. That would be lovely. <clears throat> yeah. I'll be in touch. I'll look out for you later once I deal with this. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Here you go, girl. You ready, Adley? No? I don't ah, think she's ready. yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yep. Yep. I can't wait to, uh, explain. Explore. Does looting count as exploring? Because if so, then yes. Not, I, not, no, oh no. This is doing a thing again. Okay. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. So I did hook up my account to the website that um, basically took my house... Um, preference from that or like whatever the the quiz was and it put me in Ravenclaw which I'm happy with like team Ravenclaw but Adley Adley our dear girl she gonna be she gonna be Slytherin I yep. detect a growing sense of ambition 
an eagerness for power. Loot equals power. So therefore, this works. Actually, I'm kind of curious, though. Uh, what did they say? So Griffin, or, so Ravenclaw, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Gryffindor, known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. And Hufflepuff, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Aww. No, no, Slytherin for sure. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Except. You belong in Slytherin! Yay, Adley! I'm so proud of you! Oh, and one more thing. Oh, gosh. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm <clears throat> sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Thank you. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. It's nice, nice to meet you, too. As, well, Professor. as Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Like the nicest. We don't deserve her, level it's and ice. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. It's so different than Ravenclaw. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Wait. That's really the password. Aspiration. Okay, that's so cool. Oh, snake girl. That's so cool. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thanks, Weasley. Or Thank Professor, you, Weasley. Professor Weasley. Yes. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you. Seriously, like, nicest person in the game. Mm. Honestly, though, Professor Garlic, the herbology teacher, also very nice, but Professor Weasley overall, just like one of my favorite people. Oh, this room is so different. So I've only seen the Ravenclaw common room. This room oh, is looks so like different. Gone. Better head to the common room. That this is so cool. Oh man. This is really, like, it's incredible how different each of the, uh, so far at least, each of the, like, bedrooms are. Oh man, that's really cool. I love the way it's designed. So, desk there, desk there, so, do we, that's, this is, do we not have a desk? Oh no, you do. Ads, apparently you just keep a cup of tea though. Girl, that's dangerous. What happens when late at night you're studying and you're tired and then you knock your teeth? I mean, you are a witch, though. We'll be fine, I hope. And does other friendo? Oh, yeah, they have a desk, too. But they got no chair. Maybe they steal our ottoman. And maybe they like to conjure a chair right before. Or maybe they don't even use it. Maybe they only do their homework on their bed. Honestly, I'm team doing your homework on the bed kind of thing. Like, that. that's always where I did it if I could afford to. It's so much more comfy. Desk chairs are highly uncomfortable. All right, let's go find the common room. Oh, interesting. They're like, it's great. So you're basically literally the sewer kind of thing. That's so interesting though. Like the way, now I'm like desperate to uh, to start in um, like two different 
like I want to see what Gryffindor and uh, Hufflepuff look like too. Oh, that's really pretty stained glass. This is all really pretty. Also, you can go into some of the other rooms. So this is for third year students. So almost the same, but there's still like slight differences. Wait. Yeah, you could just like pick up random stuff and like use it. It's so weird. Like sometimes like there are like teacups floating around and you can just use the teacups. So sometimes you're just standing there sipping tea and I'm just like, you know what? I'm here for it. hundred percent. That works for me. All right. So that's a six. So we are in the fifth year. So sixth year. What is, do their rooms look any different? Not really. Wait, what is this? Are you about to steal something? Yup, money! <laughs> that was probably awful, but you know what? We're Slytherin, so that's fine. It's really not, but you know what? We're we're just those people. Now, I'm kind of curious if who we meet now in the intro, because like, Ra obviously you meet people that are in Ravenclaw. I suppose some introductions are in order. Yup. Who are we meeting? That new so we do get to meet Sebastian now. He's probably my favorite of the like companion characters. Well, I suppose. No. Can I talk to you? I just want to say hi. Can I help you? Imagine starting a new school this late. Oh, you're the new fifth year. I am. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thanks. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. Yeah. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still. Impressive. I try. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Thank you. Uh, it was it was exciting though. See, normally we'd probably go with terrified, but we're gonna go with exciting. Remember, we're we're not. Though we're these people. The the exciting. It's exciting people. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Okay. Uh, I was... Night. Wait, what were you reading? Hey! This is my controller mouse thing. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but... Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks oh oh tell me more are you saying some spells aren't taught at hogwarts which ones seems i may have met a kindred spirit <laughs> that is a conversation for another time are you sure it was good meeting you good luck today thanks does it have to be a conversation for another day fine i don't know i there are so many globes sitting around like that you can do that with that if you know of like a secret achievement for it, will you let me know <laughs> like i'm kind of partially convinced that there's like a secret achievement or something like that for like this spinning so many probably not i'm probably just being hopeful but see what i mean like if you do that the lighting is so cool in here and it's so different so if you haven't played at all or you've only played like Sly Slytherin or something like that, Ravenclaw is actually really bright um, and very warm um, as far as like their common room goes. So it's so interesting. Like it's such a different vibe. That's so if cool. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. <laughs> oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. That's me. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't think that that is would have ha like that wouldn't have worked that dragon had one very specific purpose and it it wasn't gonna be lured away at all like there was no luring it away we handled it and i think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon a broom would have been kindling <laughs> not the way i fly 
Uh -huh. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, you seem to know- wait, do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Oh, There's okay. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Uh, Dad, you seem to know a lot about wizard's chest as well? Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Ah, she's, she's, okay. I'll see you later. It was nice meeting you, Imelda. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Okay. Now let's go meet Ominous! Hi! <gasps> That's so cool. I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Yeah. Yeah. I do like to make an entrance, let me tell you. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. <laughs> do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Thank you. That's very nice. Do you... did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Uh, do mermaids appear, uh, often appear outside the common room, or is that like a once in a lifetime? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> It was nice meeting you, Ominous. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Okay. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Yeah. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay. Thanks. Random person who was talking to me. I don't know who you were though, but I appreciate you being a messenger. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's really cool. It's so elegant. Okay, up here. And we're walking up a million stairs. She really and truly gonna get her cardio in.